Hey guys, this is Harrod Ubertech. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be an unboxing of the Zev Z320 X Compact Octane. It comes in basically your regular SIG box. I was hoping it was gonna come in one of those really nice red Pelican cases that Zev sends out. Not a big deal, but it would've been nice. Also, this is the version that comes with the Trijicon RMR. So they also give you the box for the RMR. And just wanted to point that out. So let's get into it and see what it looks like. And there you go. So like I said before, this is the Zev version of the P320X Compact. And it's their version, meaning that they've done some upgrades to the pistol. It's supposed to be better than your standard P320X Compact. First off, you see that Zev gives you a thank you card. They also supply a uh, optics plate. So this way, if you don't want to run any type of red dot, you could put your optics plate on there and it looks like it has their branding on it. Yep, there you go. And it's nice. It's made out of a metal, so it's not plastic. Also comes with extra fiber optic tubes and it has, I guess, the mounting screws for the plate that we just took a look at. And it also comes with the normal documentation that the SIG P320s come with. It comes with your standard lock. Here's the pistol. To go over some of the information about the pistol, they added more aggressive slide serrations. They're deeper, they extend further out more towards the uh, front of the slide and also they're higher than the original. The original X Compact weighs in at 25.3 ounces and this Z320 brings it down to 21 ounces. I guess with all the slide ports and all the milling that they've done to the slide brought down some of the weight from the original P320. Zev is saying that the slide ports and the cuts create a lighter slide. It's supposed to allow the pistol to shoot flatter and maintain sight picture more easily during follow-up shots. I guess I'll find out if that's true once I go shoot it. Zev also added this Pro Barrel, which is black DLC coated. You can see it has the circular cuts in it, which is supposed to, I think, also save weight. Next, Zev has added these really low iron sights. They're not plastic. They are made out of some type of metal. And also it has a fiber optic in the front. It's there and it's low. And the rear sights are just blacked out with the serrations on it to prevent any type of glare. Also, they added the serrations to the front as well. I'm sure these sights are really nice to use if you don't have an optic mounted, but because the optics there, you can't use the sights at all. And in my opinion, because this pistol comes standard with the optic, these sights should have been suppressor height sights. So this way you could co-witness with the optic by default. That's just my opinion and I'll always feel that way just because God forbid anything happens to the optic, I'll still have backup iron sights that I can co-witness through the lens of the optic. Speaking of the optic, Zev has this optic cutout right here that lets you keep the iron sights, which is a huge upgrade compared to the stock X Compact. The stock one, when you take that plate off, the iron sights are attached to that mounting plate and you don't have any more rear iron sights. So the only way that you would be able to co-witness or run iron sights with an optic on the original X Compact is if you had a mounting plate that had built-in rear iron sights or if the site itself had built-in iron sights. The way that Zev has made this cutout is to me way better than stock. The other thing that's nice is it looks like they milled the optic cutout further back from the exit port over here. All that really means is that you're just gonna clean the lens less. Not a huge innovative thing, but it's a nice little added bonus. The other thing to note here is the flat facing trigger, but keep in mind this is the standard X series flat trigger. I'm still gonna ghost the trigger here just to see how it feels. We are clear. It is very short which to me, I do like that. I like a short trigger pull. So you could see it's a very short pull and you hit that wall immediately. Pull a little bit more and then boom, it breaks. Now it's a mushy break. It's not really crisp, but 
Again, it's short and it doesn't feel real heavy. Here's the reset. A little bit longer than I expected, but still not bad. There's an audible click, but there's not so much a tactile feel for the reset. So I wish there was more of a tactile feel when you reset the trigger. Let's do that one more time. There's a short travel. And there's the mushy brake. Even though it's mushy, it's not terrible. It's not bad at all. And here's the reset. There you go. Travel again a little bit further than I expected. And again, there's not much of a tactile feel. It's still a pretty good, you know, stock trigger. I like it. It's not bad at all. All right, let's do the trigger pull and see what the weight is of this trigger. So hit ready and pull. Four, three. Okay, I'm going to do three so we can get an average. Three, nine. Last one. Three, three. And let's get the average. So it's about a 310 trigger pull, which isn't bad. I mean, it's it's pretty light, but I feel like it, it's, it's heavy enough to carry. The next thing I want to mention here is the grip module. So the grip module is your basic stock X compact grip module. From my knowledge, I thought that the Zev company was doing some type of stippling. Uh, it was like a diamond cut stippling. And I heard they had some manufacturing issues. And I guess that's the reason why this one doesn't have that. Not saying this is bad. It's still grippy. Still feels pretty good in the hand. Not really complaining so much. But honestly, for the money that you're paying for this pistol... I mean, I really feel like it should come with custom stipple job. It, it would have been a nice little add-on. The mag release is decent. It's not the best, but it's decent. It works. While we're talking about the mag release, models I mentioned, it comes with two 15 round mags. And I think I mentioned it earlier, but this is the 6MOA dot RMR. The slide in the pictures on Zev's website looked a lot lighter. It looks silver, but this is a lot darker in person. And I'm kind of happy with that because I prefer the darker look, like a gunmetal look instead of silver. So it does look nicer in person. Just one more thing I want to point out so far as like the first impressions. I noticed it's extremely hard to get the slide to, to lock back. Normally I would just pull here and then it would lock, but you have to really pull back and then it locks in the place. So I think that might get a little bit easier over time because I think the tolerances are so tight that it just has to break in. Overall first impressions, I do really like it. It feels good in hand. I like the slide, the serrations are deep and it does feel really nice. And it also looks nicer than the stock X Compact so that's a plus. I hope it shoots as good as it looks. Like I said, there's not too much I can say about it so far just because I haven't shot it yet. I'll take this to the range a few times, shoot it, and test it out with all different types of ammo, and we'll see how it performs. And I'll come back with a full review of the Zev Z320X Compact Octane. Guys, if you thought the video was helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, please put in the comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Every subscriber helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.